at least eight solar flares have been unleashed towards Earth. And more could follow after a crackling sunspot emerged on the solar surface this week. Our star has been experiencing heightened activity in 2022, having fired off its most powerful solar flare for five years back in April. One of the latest solar flares caused a brief radio blackout over the Atlantic Ocean when it struck Earth at 1442 Greenwich Mean Time, 942 Eastern Time, yesterday, Wednesday, according to spaceweather.com. It appears to be moving into a particularly active period of its 11-year cycle of activity, which began in 2019 and is expected to peak in 2025. Coronal mass ejections, CMEs, are large clouds of plasma and magnetic field that erupt from the sun. These clouds can erupt in any direction, and then continue on in that direction. Plowing through solar wind, these clouds only cause impacts to Earth when they're aimed at Earth. They tend to be much slower than solar flares, as they move a greater amount of matter. CMEs can be triggered when a storm on the surface of the sun causes a whirlwind to form at the base of plasma loops that project from the surface. These loops are called prominences and when they become unstable they can break, releasing the CME into space. Solar flares bursts of electromagnetic radiation that travel at the speed of light normally reach our planet within eight minutes of emerging from the sun's atmosphere. The most powerful category are X flares, followed by M class ones, which is what most of the new ones were. Such was the excitement of Wednesday's activity that some experts took to Twitter. Three more M flares, an M6, M3, and M2, all from AR3165, said solar physicist Keith Strong. That makes eight M flares so far today. They seem to be getting bigger. Is an X flare in the offing? Stay tuned. The AR3165 that Mr. Strong tweeted about is a sunspot, a dark region of the sun where it is cooler than other parts of the surface that recently emerged on our star's visible disk. Solar flares originate close to these dark areas of the star, releasing energy. They are sometimes associated with coronal mass ejections, CMEs, which tend to cause more disruption to technology on Earth, but so far there's no evidence this new activity includes any CMEs. These mass ejections tend to be much slower than solar flares, as they move a greater amount of matter, but they only have an impact on our planet when they're aimed in its direction. These loops are called prominences and when they become unstable they can break, releasing the CME into space. Flares and CMEs have different effects at Earth as well. The energy from a flare can disrupt the area of the atmosphere through which radio waves travel, which can lead to temporary blackouts in navigation and communication signals.